Just yesterday, I thought about what I would do differently if I could return to the time before I got admission into the university. First of all, if I knew what I know now, I would not bother with a university degree. Instead, I would spend my time focusing on skills and businesses of the future, which I am sure are knocking off university degrees. Not that I undervalue and I am relegating the university degrees, but you and I know that degrees are almost becoming irrelevant in today's world. Smart entrepreneurs, businesses, and some companies aren't looking for degree holders anymore. Rather, they are looking for brains who will help solve their problems even if they don't have or lack a school degree. Just yesterday, I got a call from a university degree holder who can't seem to find a job. Someone like that spent a minimum of 4 to 5 years in the university, another year in our country's one-year NYC program for new graduates, only to come out searching for jobs. And let me tell you the kind of pay she would get with most establishments, something between or less than $130. I know this because I have seen some graduates who earn less. This is gory. If the situation is like this, at this moment, only an incorrigible fool will witness this gory condition and still insist on bagging a degree to show off that he went through some university. The future is no longer coming. The future is here and it is knocking some people down and dragging them right on the floor. What must you do as a young person now to save yourself? Here are three lifestyle changes you must make if you want a successful future. Number 1. Stop focusing on school and start focusing on education. Most people think schooling is the same thing as getting an education. No, it isn't. Just because a person has gone to school doesn't mean he knows a thing about life, how to make money, how to communicate effectively, how to build relationships that build a successful business, how to negotiate, etc. Many graduates could never make a dollar extra even if you give them a million dollar today. Most suck so badly at work relationships that they couldn't run a business successfully for six months. The reason is that school teaches you what to do. Education teaches you how to leave out what you should do. For example, most of the lessons you will learn about money and business will not be learned in school. They would have to be learned in the harsh realities of life. You would have to face the situation squarely and fight your way through them. Since you are not taught how to make money or run a successful business in school, you had better start getting solid outside school education on how to make money, handle money, manage money, and keep growing your wealth. I didn't know jack about handling money until I started to read books on money. I didn't learn to manage business right until I began to watch videos on how to do so. Go to school to learn, yes, but get an extensive education by reading books, watching helpful videos, and listening to audio that teaches you about life, finances, relationships, communication, etc. Those who focused so much on getting a certificate are seriously blaming themselves today. Most of us who did still got out of that era and got lucky or fought our way through go to school but focus on getting an education. Number 2. Learn a skill and keep learning skills It is essential to educate your mind through helpful videos, audios, and books, but it is also necessary to learn skills you can put into use to save your life. These days, I found out before I or my spouse go to see a doctor, we have read almost all we can on the health issues we may have, such that while the doctor is speaking, we are already making deductions on whether the dude knows what he's talking about or not. We may not know much about medicine, but we sure would have learned enough and have developed enough sense in the process so that we don't get misled. I always advise young people to go to school but focus so much on developing skills that will help them branch out at any time. I asked the lady who called me yesterday asking if she could get a job in our establishment if she had a skill relevant to this age. She said an uncertain yes, which indicated she didn't have skills pertinent to this present age. Someone like that will get a job, but she may not get a job that gives enough pay. I do not write this to mock this person as I know no one receives anything unless God gives it to him. But we must take responsibility for our lives to prepare for a great future. When I was dead broke and almost starving and living off people, I would search for skills to learn and keep learning them. I believe very strongly that in this day and age, you can learn a skill each month from the comfort of your room just watching videos on YouTube. I did this when I started to learn how to build Android apps, use Adobe Creative Suites, 
learn to ghostwrite, learn online book distribution, and learn book design and layout. If you're not learning skills to improve your what, you will soon become whatless. It's not a cost, it's just that simple. What you know will go a long way to determine what you earn. I can imagine that programmers who work for banks earn the same amount as the bankers who count the money from people. No, those programmers will earn more. They will work at a convenient time. Your life does not depend much on schooling anymore. From now on, your life depends on what you know and how much you know will determine how fat or lean your pocket will be. Number 3. Cut down on pleasure Recently, I deliberately got myself a PlayStation 3 console. The reason is simple. I spend my days, week in, week out, working so much that I don't have time for myself. I don't have so much time to spend with my family and I hardly take long breaks. To break the cycle, I decided I would shave off a day just for breaks and I would play my game with my family. Did you notice I mentioned I spend my days, week in, week out, working? Most young people put pleasure before work. Here's how it works. If the work you do isn't pleasurable enough, you're not doing the right work. The truth is, I enjoy what I do enough to not need a game console to suit me. But this decision is not much for me than it is for spending time with my family. If you love what you do so much, you will find it pleasurable enough not to even consider it work. Most of us don't find what we love to do and thus, we struggle with the work we do. I believe you invest so much time in pleasure and entertainment for two reasons. One, you don't have a plan or vision for your life. Two, you don't love what you do. When you have a great vision for your life and love what you do, pleasure and entertainment in movies, too much leisure, too much games, die a natural death. Cut out needless pleasures and entertainment from your life. Hours and hours of movies helped your life. I believe entertainment should be a reward for hard work, not just for the fun of it. If you're serious about making your life work, cut off needless entertainments and spend more time building your life. Entertainment should always be a reward for weeks and weeks of hard work. Do you want to succeed greatly in life and never have to beg when you leave college? Don't just study to get a degree. Get education from life through books, helpful audios, videos, seminars, etc. Start learning skills and don't ever stop improving yourself. Cut down on pleasure because the fun you sacrifice today for a better future, you will have much more of tomorrow when you succeed. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.